Hello, gents. Say, I'm really excited about what I'm going to do today. A while back, I watched a video by Chevy Dodd, link in the description, where he dug up a time capsule that he buried as a youth. I think it was something like 25 years later or 30 years later, I don't know how long, but he dug it back up and it was really awesome. And when I watched it, I remembered that I had done the same thing. I buried a time capsule when I was a Cub Scout. I think I was about 10, which would have put it at 1990. So I'm here at my parents' house today. Got me a metal detector. And I got the basic idea of where I think it's buried. And I'm going to try to dig it up and see if I can find it. As I recall, I think it was a tin can. I think I put some coins in there and maybe a letter to myself. I don't know what else, and I don't know if I'm going to be able to find it. I probably didn't prep it that well to hold up to the elements for this long, since 1990. But hopefully I can find it. It's right in this vicinity somewhere, and this has changed a lot since then. I'm going to say right around here is where I expect it to be. I could be way off. It could have been in the other grow box too. It could have been over here. Um, first things first, I need to mow down these weeds. And then I'm going to grab the metal detector and I hope I get a blip or whatever they call that. Okay, I have it all clear in the area I believe it was. There was a grow box that was roughly here, and then there was another one here. I buried it in one of those two grow boxes. I think it was this one, which would put it right about where I'm standing, I think. Time to grab the metal detector. Okay, there's something right here, I guess. I hope it's that. That would have been the quickest find ever. That would have been way better than I expected if this is it. Or it's just telling me there's stuff everywhere. Which it is. That sucks. Okay, apparently I'm standing on a giant field of metal, or else I don't know how to use this thing. I've marked three places where it says there is something metal eight inches or deeper. I feel like I buried this thing kind of deep, like at least two feet deep. I feel like I dug a really deep hole and put this in, and I hope I didn't. But that's the kind of thing the uh, ten-year-old me probably would have done. So, um, I'm going to go to these three places I marked and see if I can find anything. I dug a lot 
I didn't find jack squat. Here's the hole I've dug so far. According to that metal detector, there is something metal here, but according to me and my shovel, there is not. I got a few other places, like right here, where it claimed there was something that I'm going to try later. And it could still be out here also. Um, I really hope I can find it, but on the outset, I was giving myself a 50-50 shot of finding it because I don't think it was that well constructed in the first place and the elements might have retaken it but with any luck i still have a chance of getting it um the metal detector is just messing with me it keeps telling me there's something there and i keep digging these holes and there's nothing there um i probably don't even know how to use it right but i'll dig a little bit more who knows i could get lucky just a second ago it was sure there was something right here now it's not so sure at all but I don't think I can trust this thing at all I'll just do a little more digging who knows Says it, but that doesn't mean it's true. Because it's I haven't found anything and it said it was all over the place here. What was it? Yeah, it was right around here that I buried it. How about we just get a new time capsule? Okay. Then I have to wait 25 more years. I can't believe this. I came out here to fill in my hole. I had already given up. I wasn't going to even look anymore. Spent a long time out here and never found a thing. But I just think I discovered it sticking out of the edge of the dirt here. Hey guys, come here. I think I found it. I think I found the time capsule. I think I actually found it. I had already given up. Here, can someone hold this? Gotcha. Thank you. It's right down here. Kind of buried. Is it big? It is. Wow. Stay there, guys. It's an old paint can. I remembered putting it in a can. I didn't know what kind of can. I think there's a screwdriver on that ladder. Can someone grab me that screwdriver? Yep. Thank you, Spencer. Yep. Back up, guys. It looks a little worse for wear. How old is that? I buried it when I was 10, so it's a little over 25 Hi. years old. How old are you right now? Hi. 36. 36. My two Bunch digits. of rust. That thing is 26 years old. There's another can and a little note. What does it say? A note. A note. I'll read it. Dear future me. Hey, the joke's on you. I bet you wish I had marked this better before I buried it. You must have dug a giant hole. Yes, I did, you little punk. Hey, I have a few goals for you. I want you to be married to a beautiful lady and have good kids. 
Well, I got a beautiful wife. The kids are okay. Hey! <laughs> How dare you? I want you to be a rich astronaut trainer, too. If you have a boring job, I'll be so disappointed in you. Uh-oh. <laughs> I work in insurance. I've never trained an astronaut in my life. He goes on. One more thing, I hope you have become a well-known YouTube content creator. What the? What this? Now, first of all, that's not even nice. Give me some time, you little punk, and how did you even know about YouTube? Hey, dummy, you should make another time capsule with your family now. If you're smarter than you were at age 10, you'll clearly mark it this time. Sincerely... Joel of 1990. Well, that was funny. who wants the note? Me. Me. You know, it just so happens, Joel of 1990. I'm way ahead of you. We put together a time capsule, me and my family today. They all made pictures and things to put in here. I got a note wrapped in several layers of uh, Ziploc and some pictures and some coins and stuff all Did sealed up in these cans. Did yeah, I the stuff you made, I stuck it right in there. Oh, yeah. Put a Pepsi fire in there. Throw, someone throw me a Pepsi fire. <laughs> We're going to add a Pepsi fire to this. Jeez. It definitely needs to, I suppose whenever Jeez. this gets buried, when it gets dug up, Pepsi fire Jeez. will be a distant memory. Daddy, will you put that down there? Did you what? start digging? Oh! Can we start digging? Ah! Perfect fit. All right, guys, let's bury our time capsule. Yeah. And let's not forget, it's halfway in between these two trees. There's like an apple tree and a, I don't know what fruit tree. Um, where's the shovel? Does that look like about halfway? We probably shouldn't put it so deep, huh? Oh, well. All right, 25 more years. We'll be in business. Start burying it, kid. Okay. Okay, we got our time capsule all finished up here. It's right down there. We got a concrete marker on there. Girls, go ahead and point at it with your shadow. There it is. Um, with any luck, in about 25 years, we'll dig that up again. What do you guys say? Now, uh, I'm going to go ahead and give a challenge to you, gents. Why don't you make your own time capsule with your family? Find a place that you believe will be safe for something like 25 years. Um, even though my parents are in their golden years, I, I think it's safe to assume they're still going to live here 25 years from now. So uh, we'll come back and we'll... I'm the grasshopper. Oh, nice. We'll come back and we'll do it. So, gents, the challenge is on. Make your own time capsule. And uh, that's it, I guess. So long. <laughs>